This is an actual PS5 running on my Android device for completely free. Hello everyone, by the end of this video you will be able to run PS5 games on your Android devices for completely free. Stick with me till the end and I'll get you covered with every single step that you need to play these games on your Android devices. So first things first, we will be needing an app known as GameCC uh, which is available on Play Store to download. By the way, you will be getting a modded APK link uh, in the description box below which I won't be recommending anyway. So let's continue with the tutorial. So this is the app right here. As you can see, I've already installed it and if you just scroll down a little. Uh, you can see there are some screenshots and this app is having 1 million downloads which means that it is already a lot popular and you can trust it easily. So here is basic info about this game. Anyways, I'll be just clicking on open and if this is uh, the loading screen and uh, first things first uh, which we have to do here is that I have already created an account. You have to create an account and then sign in and after that you will be able to access those ps5 one thing i want to tell you is that you will be needing credits so there are two ways of earning credits either by watching ad or by paying money so if you want to use it for free you have to watch a lot of ads so if you go to the discover section you will be seeing that here are the uh, devices or consoles that uh, are available to rent so as you can see here are some ps5 servers ps4 and uh, some PC servers. The way you have to differentiate PS5 and PS4 is by looking at their icons. For example, PS4 servers would be having PS4 icon and PS5 servers would be having a PS5 icon. And PC games uh, rather than having a PC icon, they would be having a normal game icon. First you have to see if a server is online or offline. After making sure that it is online, just select a server for just like in my case I am selecting a PS5 server. And after selecting the server, you have to you will be seeing some options here like rent and speed test. One advice for you is that before renting a server, you may make sure to do a speed test so that your credits don't get wasted. So in my case, this service is having, I guess, a fine test result. So I'll be using this server for my tutorial. And once you are satisfied with the speed test result, just click on rent and then again click on rent and confirm. And all right, so our PS5 is starting. Now we are connected successfully. Just click on the PS5 icon and boom, guys. Uh, we are running real GTA 5 on our PS5. As you can see, for completely free. So, all right. So, I'll be showing you more of this. So, if I just go back, you can see this is the main PS5 home screen. And here are all the games that uh, this server is currently having. I'll just try to play some other games. Alright, so I'm playing Spider-Man Miles Morales and it is working completely fine. Although the game is a little bit lagging. I guess mainly because of my Wi-Fi connection. But anyways, I'm making sure that it will work smooth for you if you are having a great internet connection. You, by the way, don't need a great device since it is emulation as we all know. And if you might wonder about uh, this service, it, this is completely legit. This isn't illegal because what this service mainly consists of is that people are giving their devices for other people to rent and in, and in return they will be asking for some money which makes it completely illegit to use. So that's it for guys today's tutorial. I hope you liked this video and if you did so make sure to subscribe my channel and like this video and share this video with your buddies and ciao.